Hey guys, Superman here. In today's episode, uh, we will be teaching you how to use the X9 scooter display. A very easy display, but I'll walk you through all the settings and uh, what everything does. All right, so our display is right here, right in the middle of the cockpit and these are the controls to control it. So to turn it on, we're just gonna hold the power button for about two seconds, powers up. You can see right here, once the display powers up, you'll see your uh, speed. This is your speedometer, so zero, zero, not moving obviously right now, so we're going zero kilometers per hour. And right below that is your battery indicator, uh, represented by five bars. Every bar represents approximately 20% of battery life. So right now we can tell we're at around 60% battery life on this scooter, um, missing two bars to get up to 100%. Uh, this red dot over here, that would be your gear. There are three gears that can be changed. You've got your eco mode, your regular mode, and your sport mode. Right now we're in sport mode. To change the gears, you just want to press the function button, which is the top button here, just a simple tap. So right now I tapped it, and right now we're on eco mode, which is the slowest mode. You tap it again, it's a blue circle, which represents regular mode or standard mode. Press it again to get to your fastest mode, which is your sport mode, which will take you up to a speed of around 40 kilometers an hour on the X9 scooter. Okay, now the fun stuff begins. To get into the advanced settings. So to get into the advanced settings, you're gonna wanna hold the power and function button at the same time. Your first setting will be P0. P0, this is going to be, uh, this will be, you'll be able to change your unit of measure. So whether you want to see your speedometer uh, displayed in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. So the function button is going to be your select button in this case, and the power button is going to be your enter button. So now let's enter into the P0 to enter it. Remember we said the power button, so let's press the power button. So zero is your first setting, which represents the kilometers per hour. If we want to change it to miles per hour, we're going to hit the select button. One, now we're at miles per hour. To save the setting, you press two buttons at the same time, and it'll take you back out. I'm going to keep it at kilometers per hour since we're in Canada, and we go by that. So we're going to select that and press the enter button which is the power button now we're going to go to the select button to get to the next setting p1 p1 is your cruise control setting so this uh, scooter features cruise control just like the x7 and 8 so let's select that so zero uh, means no cruise control and one means cruise control i'm going to keep cruise control on for now so we're going to keep one so i want to do a quick demonstration of that a little bit later so let's select that P1. P2. P2 is your start. So you have an option of how you want your scooter to start. You can either have zero start, which means the scooter gets uh, goes right away as soon as you touch the throttle, or kick start. So you have to kick your scooter for it to actually move. We always recommend using a kick start because it's safer because if you have zero start and someone just touches the throttle, it can fly off on you. But I'll give a quick demonstration to show you again what that means. So let's select P2. So zero is going to be your kick start. One should be your zero start. So let's select one. One is selected. And now we're going to enter this in. That's the last setting. There's nothing more. As you can see, it recycles back to P0, P1, P2. So not very many settings on this. Very simple. Let's hold both buttons together. That saved that. OK. Hold on, I could be wrong here on P2. Let's select that. Let's change this back to zero. I think zero might be your zero start. That's right. So zero is your zero start. And as you can see, scooter is moving just by hitting the throttle. Let's go back to P2 and put it to one. P2 set to one, save that, doesn't go, but if we kick start it, it should move. All right, 
So that's pretty much the settings. I also like to mention that uh, you could turn on the lights by using the function button simply by double tapping it. Your front light headlight will go on and as well as a rear light as well. Okay, so now that we have this uh, scooter set to cruise control, I'd like to do a quick little demonstration of how exactly that works at a very low speed of uh, regular, zero, but which has a maximum speed of only six kilometers an hour. It's almost like a walking mode. Uh, we'll have the camera follow me, and I want to you know, explain to you what cruise control does, what it means, what to look out for. So after holding the power for around at a, a constant speed for around six seconds, you're going to hear a beep. Once that beep goes, that means you, can, you are now in cruise control, and you can let go of the throttle and just hold on to your handlebar and cruise away. So let's get the camera to follow me, uh, and we will show you exactly how that works. Let's test out this cruise control through this shop. So we're going at a max speed now of six kilometers. You're going to hear a beep very soon, very, very soon. There's that beep. So now you hear it beeping. I'm going to let go. Now I let go. And as you can see, no, no throttle needed. I'm not holding any throttle and we're moving, moving through the Epic Cycles warehouse over here. As you can see, we're stocked up with lots of bikes, lots of parts ready for the season. We're just walking, going through to our service center. So a nice little, uh, you know, demonstration viewing of our shop. Here's a <laughs> and that's it. So that's cruise control for you. If you don't like the cruise control, we can turn off the cruise control. Now we're in the scooter section of our shop at Epic Cycles. Um, so to turn off the cruise control, you can hold the two buttons again. And you remember that was P2. Press enter, go to zero. Now there will not be cruise control anymore. So you can, you know, sometimes people find it a little bit dangerous that they don't realize that the cruise control is there and it's just going, especially when you're going at faster speeds. I just did it at uh, the eco mode, which is like pretty much like a walk mode. It did a maximum speed of six kilometers per hour. So yeah, that's it. So very, as I said, very simple. Um, very simple uh, settings. There's not too many, really only three settings uh, on the scooter. Other than that, you know, you could change the, the gears between the walking mode, I'll call it, not even like a eco mode. Then the middle one's an eco mode and the sport mode will get you up to the speeds of 40 kilometers an hour. Um, yeah, two buttons, three advanced settings. That's it, very simple. Very easy to use. Anybody can use it. If you uh, have any questions about this, uh, comment below. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, visit our website at epiccycles.ca. You can purchase this amazing product. We've got a killer deal on it right now. And always, um, other than that, guys, wishing you an epic day or night.